Now it's time to get to grips with the sonar readings on your deeper app. First, we'll deal with the standard mode. Once you're connected, you'll start seeing a stream of data on the app display. If you need a quick snapshot of the key data, just look at the top right of the display. The water temperature and the bottom depth are both shown. For more detailed analysis, look at the main display. First up, you'll notice it's always scrolling. That's because the sonar is constantly sending and receiving impulses, even if it's not moving. The newest data is on the right-hand side, where the depth scale is. The orange line shows the bottom. Any green shows vegetation. Fish will be shown in yellow, with icons and a number, which shows the depth they are at. These can be added or removed. We'll explain how to do this in a minute. Finally, you'll notice three icons in the bottom left of the screen. The sonar icon lets you refresh the connection between your smartphone and the deeper sonar. The Z icon will put your sonar to sleep, letting you conserve the battery. The audio icon will mute any sounds you have enabled, such as fish alarms.